this video probably isn't what you think it is. Marketing predictions for 2023. Before I question my Ogilvy and Mather tarot cards and tell you exactly what will happen in 2023, let's see if past predictions have held up. Let's go back to the groovy year of 2018. Five years seems to be a fair amount of time for predictions to come true. You may remember 2018 as the year Romaine Lettuce wanted to kill you. Banksy shocked the art auction world. Your grandmother suddenly knew the name of a porn star. And on the radio, we were all dancing to Havana by Camila Cabello. Before the year even began, marketing prognosticators around the globe were proclaiming that 2018 was the year that everything you've done in the past is dead and everything you've never heard of is coming to kill you. You know, like every year before and since. 2018 will be the year of Gen Z. This horse prediction was in Forbes and warned us that Generation Z commands $44 billion in buying power and Gen Zers are value oriented. That's right, friends. There has never been a generation that has valued values before the value oriented Gen Z. If you buy into a disproven notion that generational groups all act, think, and buy the same way, $44 billion sounds like a scary number. Until you discover that $44 billion is dwarfed by the $2.4 trillion Gen X has in their wallets. $2.4 trillion being a provably larger number than $44 billion. Optimize for voice-enabled devices. 2018 was the year of the smart speaker, according to an NBC News prediction. You'd be able to just say words into the air and an Amazon drone would fly a box of kitty litter to your doorstep. Now, the speakers themselves sold well, but the marketing riches have yet to materialize. Instead of buying goldfish food and 80-inch televisions, most people ask their smart speaker for a weather report or to play a song. Echo and Alexa at Amazon are looking at losing $10 billion and laying off 10,000 people. In fairness, it's not hard to use 2020 hindsight and poke holes in people's predictions. But that's kind of the point, isn't it? Everybody wants to grab onto the next big thing rocket. But the discipline of marketing hasn't changed. Not in the last five years, or 15 years, or in its 100 year history. Some tactics have evolved, but the fundamentals of making the tactics work remain the same. Jeff Bezos famously said, I frequently get the question, what's, what's going to change, change in the next 10 years? I almost never get the question, what's not going to change in the next 10 years? And I submit to you that that second question is actually the more important of the two. Because you can build a business strategy around the things that are stable in time. Amazon is often decried for causing the death of retail stores. After all, everybody shops online and nobody ever shops in person anymore, right? But the predictions of a new normal haven't materialized. At all. Amazon's stock price is back to pre-pandemic levels, and online shopping overall only accounts for 14.8% of retail purchases. Most people, most people, shop in brick-and-mortar stores. I'm not unsympathetic. No industry would want 14.8% taken out of its hide. But 14.8% is a provably lower number than everybody. The biggest challenge business owners face isn't change in the world, but their own distractions caused by idiot videos called marketing predictions for 2023. Your keen instincts that make you such a good entrepreneur are also your weakness. I never imagined that my best advice as a marketing consultant would be to tell my clients, don't touch it, leave it alone, let the pot simmer. Given a choice between Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett, be more Buffett. But tell me how that feels to you. Do you think you can go through 2023 and not change things, not chase the latest, newest, shiny object that's out there? 
easy to talk about, but it's hard to do. What are your strategies? How are you going to make 2023 work for you? Leave a comment in the comments below or send me an email, johnny at molsonpartners.com. I'll be back in a few weeks. In the meantime, keep musing about marketing. Because that's what I'm doing. <laughs>